Hey guys, welcome back to the Elite Code 75 study plan series. So we're going to be doing a new category today. We're um, exploring the Q category. Um, and the first problem is number of recent calls. So uh, this problem is ranked as easy and rightfully so. It is an incredibly simple solution with, in my opinion, um, an overly, overly complicated instructions. So um, I'll just read the instructions real quick. Uh, you have a recent counter class which counts the number of recent requests within a certain time frame. Implement the recent counter class. Recent counter initializes a counter with zero recent requests and um, int ping with in integer t as input adds a new request at time t where t represents some time in milliseconds and returns a number of requests that have happened in the past 3000 milliseconds, including the new request. Specifically, return the number of requests that have happened in the inclusive range t minus 3000 and t. It is guaranteed that every call to ping uses a strictly larger value of t than the previous call. So um, basically what we need to do is create a queue and then um, we're returning the amount of times that the um, that the ping method has been called basically uh, within the past 3000 milliseconds. So um, it's really simple. Let's just declare a queue real quick. So in order to do that, uh, we just do Q integer, um, and then we can just call this Q, right? And we're declaring it, we're not initializing it. So we just leave it like that. And then um, what we wanna do is uh, uh, initialize it, right? So when the recent counter object is created, um, the Q um, is, is empty, right? So um, that's just the same as initializing it. So uh, the Q is, uh, implemented by the linked linked list class. So um, in order to initialize it, we just have to do this dot Q equals new linked list. All right. So keep in mind, a Q isn't a linked list. They're not the same thing, but it's implemented by the linked list class. Um, all right, and then uh, what we want to do is establish our, our, we need to implement our ping method. So uh, we need to return the amount of times represented as an integer, and then we're inputted with a, um, with T as our, as our, uh, as our time, right? So um, what we want to do is add T to the Q, okay? And then we're going to set up a while loop, while, Q dot peak, peak gets the top of the Q, right? Or the front of the Q, I guess. Um, T minus 3000, okay? So it's basically checking um, if, if it's outside of the 3000 millisecond range, then we need to take it off of the Q. So we do that with the pull operation, okay? And then we're gonna return the size because every time that we call this method, we want to return the amount of requests that have been in the 3000 millisecond range, right? So let's go ahead and run um, our solution. So as you can see, it passes the first test case. Let's go ahead and submit it, make sure that we pass all of our test cases. All right, cool. So we pass all the test cases. And then for the time and space complexity, right? The time complexity is gonna be big O of N. We have a while loop, right? And the while loop can have up to an, an amount of requests um, in the past 3000 milliseconds, right? And then um, for our space complexity, it's gonna be big O of N as well because um, the Q can be up to N requests, right? So um, there you have it, that's the solution. Um, rather simple one today, uh, but if you found it helpful and you liked it, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up for the video and subscribe for more related content. As always, I'm open to suggestions, so please feel free to leave those in the comments and we will see you in the next video.